Today we'll be doing another Steam Saturday throwback with Sharpie tie-dye design. We did this Steam activity back in August of 2019. It was a really great way to learn about solubility and it had materials that you probably have around the house. The permanent marker is a great tool to have. We can write our names on things and it won't get washed off. This can be a problem when we accidentally use a permanent marker when we didn't mean to, like on our mom's kitchen table. Oops. Good question. Permanent markers have molecules that are nonpolar, which causes them to not dissolve in water, also known as being hydrophobic. Hydro meaning water and phobic meaning afraid. I'll show you what I mean. Here are two black lines done in permanent marker. The first I'm going to paint with water. It should stay the exact same, only the paper gets wet. When I paint the other line with rubbing alcohol, the permanent marker is able to dissolve. Therefore, the molecules can flow freely. Now let's have some fun. For this activity, you will need a cotton t-shirt, rubbing alcohol, a plastic cup, permanent markers, straw, and a rubber band. Remember that rubbing alcohol is flammable. Do not ingest, and this project should be done in a well-ventilated space, preferably outside. To begin, you're going to take the plastic cup and place it underneath the front piece of fabric. Next, you're going to take your rubber band and place it over the fabric and cup so that the fabric is taut. With your permanent markers, you can color the fabric that's pulled tight. You can use any colors and any patterns. In either a separate cup or straight from the bottle, draw the rubbing alcohol into your straw. Let the rubbing alcohol drip onto the fabric and watch what happens. The colors start to blend into one another as the rubbing alcohol spreads. It's really cool to see how the colors might change depending on what colors you selected and grouped together. The longer that you let this sit, the more the rubbing alcohol will wet in the fabric and the colors will expand. You can redo this as many times as you want on the t-shirt to create different designs and patterns. You can keep it simple with just two or three, or you can do the entire t-shirt. This activity can go just beyond chemistry. You can talk about shapes and patterns. You can talk about color theory. It can be adapted in so many ways. Once the rubbing alcohol is dry, you have a beautiful tie-dye t-shirt. Thanks for joining us on the Steam Saturday Throwback. I'm Chelsea Young with the Mulberry Phosphate Museum. Thanks for watching.